All right, Jalen Rose. Mm -hmm. We need to take us behind the curtain on something. Let's do it. Couldn't help but notice that the careers of people like Carmelo Anthony, Isaiah Thomas, DeMarcus Cousins, who seems like just two years ago were all-stars, MVP conversations. Ty Lue comes to mind as someone who's a hot commodity. And now it doesn't seem to be the same. Take us behind the curtain on how that happens. Because sports and entertainment happen in dog years. The news and the information is so fast, frenetic, and instant, we almost think about a year, a season, like a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And look at a guy like Isaiah Thomas when he was leading a number one seed at Boston Celtics. He was an all-NBA performer, yep. an all-star. MVP votes. And was on his way to getting a huge deal. How about DeMarcus Cousins? Just a couple of years, he was starting in the All-Star game for the Pelicans mm -hmm. on his way to get a huge deal, playing alongside Anthony Davis. Mm -hmm. Anthony Davis is with the Lakers, and guess where Boogie is now? With the Lakers. How about that? Goes to the Golden State Warriors and unfortunately gets injured again, so I'm rooting for Boogie. And Carmelo Anthony came in the same draft class as uh, LeBron James, who's still playing. Dwayne Wade, who just had a farewell tour. Now, they have in common besides being friends, they're all going in the same Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. But yet, Carmelo didn't get to end his career um, as ceremoniously as these two guys are going to be able to do. So I was rooting for that, and I'm still rooting for the NBA to free Melo! Free Melo! So you made a really good case for Carmelo Anthony. You made a really good case for him. What team do you think he should end up on? I would like to see Melo end up on... Say it. Say it. Say it. Denver. Oh. I would like to see him end up on Denver. They were the team that he got the furthest for from. Mm -hmm. he, they were the team that got the furthest in the playoffs while he was a member of their squad. He's still going to be adored by their fans. And they can use somebody that can help them get buckets in the crunch. They could. And if if Carmelo Anthony, if I'm Denver, I'm calling up Carmelo Anthony, I'm saying, listen, you're not the first option. You're not the second option. You're not the third option. You're not the fourth option. You're not starting. But we could, we could use you as like a Lou Will, get hot, go against the second unit, give us 12 points in 10 minutes. Last year, they took a flyer on Isaiah Thomas. We don't know what mm -hmm. Michael Porter Jr.'s took a flyer help going to be. Too. So, again... I would like to see Carmelo Anthony back in the league, walk off the floor with a uniform on and unlace his shoes and know that that was his yes. final game. Yes. I don't want to see him in like that. It didn't go great in Oklahoma City, and it straight up went bad in Houston. I don't know what happened behind the scenes in Houston, but for it to wave Carmelo after 10 games, it's just odd. I don't want that to be the last time that we see him, see him in an NBA. Agreed. Facts on facts. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, highlights, and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.